I don't understand. What the hell went wrong? I mean, I know it's still experimental, but... but... it was supposed to help people. That's... that's what he said. Wait, my... my, my case! Wait, where's my case? Where is it? drug gave us the claws to fight back. But now, we'll really show those bastards in Central City a thing or two. I was afraid we'd hit the end of the line. But now we know there's something even stronger, and you brought it right to us. That, uh, Legion, is it? Hand it over! as possible. Thank you. I was just going to quickly check if we had a nade. We should have one or two from memory. No, we don't. We have to buy them, huh? You know what? Now's the perfect time. Which is the wrong thing. Let's replace you. And let's... How about we use you? Actually, we get to show one of these up for once, huh? Alright, let's get the whole crew going, shall we? We're going for the big spin. Now, I know most attacks in this game do have, like, waves you can cut, but not all of them seem to. That one does, though. There we go. Worth it. What the hell's going on? That was kind of weird how that happened. Step out of it! Don't you recognize there me? We go. Yeah, Carl, I, I think they, he's kind of gone. Sorry, dude. What the hell's going on? That's not quite what I wanted. I was thinking more of that. Let's go for a bind. If I don't get caught on the level geometry. It's a bloody rubbish piles. What the hell's going on? 
That was like a mini version of Crowd Control Requiem. That's what. Uh, yeah, 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 that's what I got last time. We better catch up with Douglas quick. Look, a security camera. Check it out. It probably saw Douglas. All right, one sec. He's gone. He's making a go of it. Iris, shut down. Lulith Olive was our last chance. My friends. My hermits. It's all over. That doesn't sound like any hermit I know. Get up. The people in Sector 5 need to know you've got their backs. What are you? Who are you? Leave Douglas to us. I'll see you around, Kyle. Yeah, the unsubtle implication is Hal is, you know, the boss. The old one, at least. So yeah, for some reason, I assume it's just to, it's just how the fights are. This counts as the enemy version of Kyle. The one in the fight counts as the enemy, enemy version of Kyle. And the one in the Hermit Hideout count, counts as the NPC version. Kind of like Jenna. And I guess that would have been the same with Akira, but I don't think there's an enemy variation of them. I can't remember. That's not me playing coy, going, ho ho, I wonder. Oh, what, that didn't count? Oh, well, I can at least try to show something, but... So, you, you probably saw on the second last ball that just shot out, there's some cut lines. As if the Sword Legion could uh, slice it. And yeah, you totally can. Is it worth it? Not really. Not really at all. Now there's two chests up here. The one that's right there and the one round round this bend, which requires our our axe friend. So if this is that spot I figured out the little camera trick. So if you send out your Legion buddy, and we can't go very far, sometimes what'll happen is You end up here, which is where we've got to run to chase Douglas. And now we're over on this side, where a feline friend is waiting for us. Just in there. So, unfortunately, no, you can't chain jump to it. I've tried. You get snagged on the wall or, well, an invisible wall or that in general. The railing. So, I don't know if there's anything you can do with it. And then, if you you can get it around this way, again, having a longer chain helps a lot. And I think it was around here. I managed to get on top of the couch, which isn't hard. And then I just flew through the fucking wall, like so. <laughs> How about that? Um, unfortunately, there's an invisible wall. Oh, well, I'll just go around. There's an invisible wall in the spot I would use for diving into the wall. Um, where you fall into the void as long as you're in the camera mode. But uh, there appears to be an invisible wall preventing us in this form. So you jump off there and just about there. You can just go straight through when it's not this and you're totally fine. But an invisible wall will stop you try to do it right now. I demonstrated, but I really don't want to have to fall down for no reason. So there's a chest over here, there's some more red matter. We can see Douglas's after image running away from us. Not that that really fucking matters right now. Thanks, Akira. Damn it. Oh boy, this is great having to run back like this. Again, I wish there was an animation where we could just jump on the Beast Legion. Be really bloody handy. Again, more attacks on this would be sick, but I get why. This thing's already got like an arm. And more, and I'm repeating myself, but intentionally. More animations on our sword friend when he goes for the slashes would be right too, but I get it. I really get it. Also, they've disappeared now, but those ladders I referred to, I believe, are no longer visible. The hell is this? Oh, okay, neat. Wow, that's really cool. I forgot about that. Sorry, let's just do this real quick. I'm sorry I'm kind of going on about this kind of crap, but it's really the only time I'm going to get a shot of doing so. 
Also, I think it's the lucky special I'm running out of more than anything. Um, and I was getting it wrong about the dented body armor. So yeah, as you can see, these ladders still exist. Not like we can see them right now. But they're meant to still be there. So it makes me wonder what was meant to occur down there. Also, when you come here, you know, in the daytime, so to speak. Well, I mean, this is night, so it makes sense. Okay, we're getting stuff on the roof. And we'll come back in a sec. So, yeah, sometimes you can fly through the roof. I don't think it happens now. No. Nah. I think I might have got it to work previously, but it's not really worth showing off. Also, yeah, that's what I was talking about. And there's that there, so it makes me wonder again. I'm going to keep saying that a lot, but... It's it, it just... I find that stuff really interesting. I know it's probably super weird, and most people don't give a shit. Um, but I think people will give a shit about these two. Astrius. Astrius. And... Capenius. Okay. Ast Astrius Capenius. Got it. Um, in my mind, these look like the most Bayonetta-looking enemies in the game. If anything, this kind of makes me think of, um... I didn't really see the actual chain in the Bayo 3 trailer enemies that much. But in retrospect, I can see the Bayonetta in these guys, if anything. I'm kind of jobbing it out hard here, so I should be a little careful. Whoa, I don't know what's going on there with my controls. I, I thought I was doing something completely different, or I just misclicked like hell. Ooh, good dodge me. So, unfortunately, we can't actually take out these guys here. I mean, part of that's unfortunate. The other part's really sick. Let's go for a flip. Now let's go for a spin, shall we? Because here we go. We don't win because they're going to fuse. Do the dance. I'll do my best, but I'm not going to sunlock him. I don't have the, I don't have the move set. I don't have the legions, and I don't have the meter. But I'll do my, I'll do my best. So straight off, he's got, he's going fast. He does not appreciate this tomfoolery. So I'll do my best, but we'll see how far we get. That's... that laser... doesn't matter who stopped it, that's all that matters. If anything's gonna kill me, it's gonna be the laser. Black hole! With mega laser! That's it right there. That's the fucking laser. I recognize that anyway. No you don't, bud. In fact... Let's not take any chances. Let's just recoup some of our meter. Oh, the cool potato tornadoes by pure accident. Holy shit. Oh, my frame rate. That's another thing they could improve in the sequel, huh? Frame rate. Yeah, we don't have that yet. So let's not even go for that. I don't have the meter to cut and live to tell the tale. Let's heal. We've got another cut, though. That's the Agamemnon combo, just a more stylish version of it, in my opinion. I should just say the sword, the humanoid legion combo. He doesn't really do that much. Not later on, at least. I don't seem to get him to do it much, at least. See, he, he knows the stop. He knows what's there. Okay, we gotta be close, right? I'm intentionally not using the iris. I'll use it on like a boss in the future, just so people can be reminded of how it looks, but it's three points for not using using it. And I really don't need it. Do the raw. Oh come on. Would have been fucking perfect. Ooh mm. two premium codes. How we do? S plus. Hell yeah. 
No sloppy strikes? I'm happy with that. Good work, team. Ah, poor locker. Okay, what do we get it for this time? Red case. Okay, yeah, this is where I got it last time. Because it's not like I missed any red cases last playthrough. Last session. Sweet, thank you. Alright, Legion learning really quickly. So I'm mindful of not taking too long with all of this. Okay. Do we have this? We have the sink. I'm just occasionally not getting it for the bind. It's making me doubt the fact I have it, which I know I do. Arrow drill's pretty good. Sorry, one sec. What are our power levels? 31, 28, 42, 36. Okay. Well, you could do it for power boost, so why not? You deserve it, Arrow. You've actually been a really good team player, so you deserve a buff. You deserve it, metaphorical TN, who's more useful than actual TN. What's this? Okay, sweet. Okay, that's really cool. Um, that's Gravity Bind. Uh, Gravity Bind. I fucking love that Yu-Gi-Oh card. It was super cheesy back in the day. Okay. We have to unlock more stuff anyway, but... Before we can progress. Plus, I kind of do want to just get the 18. So we can get to be Aura Aura faster. Now, I did grab the chest down there, yeah? Yes. Wait, what? Yes, I did. Alright, one more try before we call it quits. Normally, it's on, like, what? This ankle? Arrow, what are you doing? Thank you. Okay, we're hitting the invisible wall. Nah, okay, no good. Worth a crack. Ah, bloody misclicks. Uh, before we say goodbye to this area forever. Collision? No collision, just saying. I used to try that shit all the time in Half-Life 2. I might have already said that, but um, that was one game in particular. I was pretty intent on trying to get out of bounds. I mean, of course, that was back on the, on the 360 before I just had access to no clip, but... Oh, before we head up. I'm just going to do this to demonstrate something. So we have our buffs, right? Keep that in mind. Yeah, it's just super dumb. For some reason, we don't have them right away. Huh. That was so fast, I didn't see how much we got. Okay, there we go. Perfect. You see, the joke is, the Arrow Legion's more useful than TN right now. Haha. -ha. Oh boy. I used to watch Dragon Ball quite a bit back in primary school, but that's because, you know, it was on all the time at 7.30 in the morning. Made for good viewing. Hell, I used to watch the hell out of Sailor Moon as well, back when it was on... Yeah, it was on 10 as well, I'm pretty sure. That's the... That was before, like, Toasted TV and Cheese TV, I'm pretty sure. What have it been seven? I can't fucking remember. It's whatever aggro was on. Ah, uh, old school anime before I knew what anime was. Oh yeah, yeah it did. All right, we gotta be quick. I gotta, I gotta wrap this up pretty quickly. <gasps> Kitty cat, what's your name, my little friend? Danny. Welcome to the crew, Danny. Sure be a shame if any notorious pipe missed you and like fucking stood on you. What I'm saying is Wooly missed it during his playthrough somehow, even with the fucking iris on. Getting an S plus on this fight's really kind of weird. It's oddly difficult. I don't know why. I guess the implication is it wants you to take no hits. That's asking a bit much. Okay, well that's the first one down. Done, done, on to the next one, done. Hey, don't let it go to waste. Okay, yeah, sure, um, cool. Yeah, it's really hard. 
that was the quickest it's ever been. That's, that was me inadvertently testing how many uh, slashes it took. That got me good last time. Oh, sorry. First time around. Yeah, again, there's that fucking door. But the second you get too close to it, stuff just spawns. This platform's oddly hyperactive. I don't know what the deal with that is. Oh, Christ. God damn it. Save me! And yeah, down there. But that's a bloody platform, isn't it? Oh, well, no. Sorry. It's not those ones. Oh, yeah, by the way, back there, there was a security camera we could have used to show Douglas running, but you kind of get distracted because it wants you to look at the big set piece spawning in the sky. Speaking of which, there's the number one right ahead. That's the one. Frame rate took a hit there. That's going to be the primary concern for Bayo 2. A fair three. Will the frame rate hold up? So that's that camera down there. This is the weird part. That platform is never used to my knowledge. You've got all that area down there. There's that fucking doorway. There's another spot for what I presume would be a ladder. And then it seems like you'd, you know, get over there. Or, you know, it's just to get between those. I, I don't fucking know. It's super weird. There are still survivors. Oh, who could have seen this coming? I should feel more remorse than I do, but... I'm a little jaded, I guess. Ah, yes, you see the video game players. They are... You, know. you, you see, that's the thing. I am a video game player. And as David Cage, um... You know... Demonstrated an Omicron. The game players are, you know, very... Uh, yeah, video game players don't have any remorse or sense of morals. Yeah. Totally. In this game where I'm spending half my time helping people when I don't need to. I'm on my way. Yeah, there's no reason to get on the roof. I just felt like it. I might as well elaborate. In that amazing game, Omicron the Nomad Soul, Rip David Bowie. Um, there is a solution towards the end. Um, yeah, she doesn't want medicine or anything. Where... You have to take control of someone's body um, for the act of hopping on an animal and moving a boulder. Yep. And you have to kill the guy you are currently controlling at the time to hijack the other dude. Super fucked up. Wonder what that could be. Also, yes, it looks really dumb when you just zoom in, doesn't it? Alright, I managed to S plus this last time. Let's hope we can do it again. Let's just get the bus ready. Let's get beast out first. Stun didn't work, huh? Really? Oh, that was my bad. I was a little off. The hell not working is throwing me off a little bit, though. This is a very small area to fight him in. Not ideal at all. But we got the whole crew, so this should pan out all right, I hope. Off on the beast. Round board just caused. Oh, wow. Yeah, Ramble was doing that a lot, and I don't exactly know why. Okay, let's just get out of there. Wasn't sure which one he was going for. That's definitely the charge, right? No bad, this is spin to win. That worked out way better than it should have. I had no right to get through that unscathed. Nope. No Blade Wolf. Now's not the time to do that. Perfect. Yeah, we got it. 
Go. The flip. There we go. Now that should be an S plus because I didn't get touched. Ah, there we go, my friend. Thanks for the, thanks for the roar. Now I don't exactly know what part of this map this is meant to be. Uh, okay, what do we get now? Um, sharpshooter. Ah, neat. Because I'm trying to I'm trying to match it with what I know of in um, file twelve. I can't quite figure out where it's meant to be in relation. Um, because just having a quick look at the map. I can't really place it. Because that's where we're going to end up. I'm trying to figure out where you fight Agamemnon. Um, uh, it doesn't really make sense in my head. I think that's where you fight Astraeus Capernius or whatever. Cap Capernius or how the fuck you pronounce it. Um, but I could be wrong. I have to check with the map in that in the file 12 missions. That'll help me uh, try to figure out what the hell is going on here. Uh, just note the path is blocked now. No particular reason, I swear. Let's see if they do the dumb thing like the first time. Well, like my practice. So that guy got stuck on the environment and just kept running into nothing. But instead, they just despawn the second they hit the wall. Will any of them do it? Ah, who cares? Let's go. Um, apparently this is meant to be Kyle's, um, sorry, Hal's building, but you come into much later, where his real self hangs out. And the geography makes sense in terms of this is the stairwell we used to get between floors. And hypothetically, that should be the door he's in, but I don't know. Maybe it's just because this is barred off. Um, but yeah. Damn it, it's way better if you don't have cool bursts. <laughs> I am a customer, shut up. Okay. Whoops. Ugh, double whoops. We have a lot of cash. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, figures. Uh huh. Bent eyeglasses. Wow, only a tiny bit of red matter we didn't get, huh? I don't think it's stuff up ahead. I think I actually just Look, missed some. Someone's there, trying to ID him. I think it's Douglas. Go, go, hurry! I'm going. I'm going. We're too late. He's not breathing. I guess that'd be his gun then. I don't see any signs of a struggle. Check his pockets. Maybe he left a note. That's a pass key for the Zone 09 gate. Wait, Douglas worked for the ARI? Take a look around the room. There may be something else we should see. Curious to know if people's first instinct was also to go straight for the camera. Because that's what I did. I completely overlooked this for a couple Looks of minutes. Like all these vials are empty. That means someone must have. There was a security camera outside this room, right? Maybe it can answer a few questions for us. Yep. Iris, start up. The image is really rough. Information. Someone left the room with a case. So they were after Blue of All for sure. Douglas showed up right as they were leaving, but he didn't even try to get the case back. And then, once Douglas was alone, he... Iris, shut down. That sounded like a blaster. I bet that's the person who took Douglas's case. Let's check it out. Whoa. <gasps> You'd be totally wrong if you assumed that, Hal. Sorry, dude. Uh -oh. 
Hold on a second. I feel it's just like this tiny little corner here. It's probably super nothing, but... Yeah, nothing. Okay. Now, this area might look familiar because this is the start of, like, a bunch of File 12 missions in this zone. Holy shit, the camera! They're not supposed to be... Hey, hold up! They're gonna see us! There you are. We've been looking for you, pal. Come on. Time to go home. Commander's orders. What the hell are you doing in here anyway? Don't tell me you got something to do with all this shit. Alright, fine. Have it your way. We'll get to you once we're done with all these. Alright, Sarah. Take them down. Got it. She spoke. Yeah, I get it. We can't just sit back and watch. But we're in real trouble now. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. I'm picking up a lot of energy nearby. It's coming towards us. Up there! Look out! Yeah, so this is the toughest guy we could possibly fight at this point. Kyle was only C4, and while that's pretty amazing for a human, given he's the metaphorical death stream Sam in that, in these circumstances, um, C7's pretty high for this point, isn't it? This guy has some wide hitboxes. So that doesn't matter too much when we can chain him up real good. Let's get the hit rush. Let's get the beast out, shall we? That's going well so far. Haven't been hit, but that will change, and there's no way I'm getting through this out. Taking a hit. Just gotta keep cycling through and do, doing as much damage as possible. And avoiding the laser! Fuck. Oh, it's a second too slow. Let's stay at full health. I don't want to use the charge now. And I'm positive Hal doesn't do anything in this fight. But, I'll use it just in case. Oh, come on, I wanted to go into blade mode to stylishly dodge it, but the game wouldn't let me. Alright, we're gonna be getting close to phase 2, right? Let's go for the spin. I don't care how much damage we're gonna tank. We're safe in the cutscene. Beats up, please. No charge. Okay, he's doing it. Let's just get a headshot because... There we go, that'll rack a few points up. Oh boy, Darky the Midian. Is that a sign right behind us? Yes, it was. Oh, the coolest moment in this whole fucking chapter. Disappoints me how many people don't notice the face change. It's such a cool little detail. I swear, that's like the sickest moment in the game up until this point. Alright, get him, boy! Let's get him, team! Now, I'm pretty sure he's going to be quite pissed off about this, yeah? Oh, we're a tad too slow. So, first time around, I had no idea what the hell to do here. He's kind of going nuts, and it's not super apparent. But then eventually, I happen to realize... We're just meant to do this. Mm. 
Man, what a cool fight. That part's really annoying if you don't put two and two together, because it took me about a minute and a half to realize. But what a fucking good fight. If that hadn't have been S+, plus, I would have said, what a trash fight, I take it all back. He's got just the, just the right amount of health to be a threat. It encourages using everything. It's just really fucking cool. Now, there's no way we can pick up the items, but I'm hoping maybe I can. Bingo. Thank you. Alright. Cutscene time. A black legion. That's certainly new. The lengths you'll go to stop me, Yosef. Hey, you're alive. Don't expect a warm welcome when we get back. I did all the hard work, come on. Alright, how we do? Oh, are you kidding me? God damn, I didn't realize I was, I was going out well. I mean, yeah, it was in the back of my mind, but holy crap. I didn't realize I almost s plus the chapter on my first try. Alright, we can see a bunch of other stuff now for the Iris. We have the Perching Raven, and we'll be just a bit off getting to the next rank. Okay, my bad, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's return to title, because we're done for the day. This is just a... Yeah, this is going to be, like, maybe a minute longer than the first time round. So we're at 3 minutes 50 and 14 seconds. 3 minutes 55 and 18 seconds now. Alright, um, that's Fall 6. Favorite chapter in the game. Really cool, you have most of your, um, most of your moves set, and there's a lot of really tough but fun bosses. It's just a really good chapter, and like, having a whole little hub world in the center is just awesome. Obviously, a couple more hubs in another Platinum game that was in the style would be sick, but, you know, for this game, this Harmony Square and Neuron neuron work out quite nicely um before we call it quits i'd like to think it's pretty apparent that huh why would jenna give you all this data about zone 09 and blue evolve and all this that's weird why would she want you to go in and see how badly the government and by extension yosef fucked up huh sure doesn't make any sense huh hmm anyway <laughs> like it's it's pretty obvious i figured that out first time it doesn't put it doesn't take much to put two and two together. Jenna's weird. Some of her motivations don't make sense, but... She clearly wants you to understand what's going on. Now, why she doesn't just tell you stuff prop straight up... I, I have to attribute that to either the crazy, because she's been stuck in the astral plane for 20 years. Or the writing's not as good as it should have been. But whatever. We're done here. Hope you guys had fun. This is going to be hell to edit, so enjoy the seven or eight parts. Catch you later. Drugs, huh?